Hello friends, it's Candence and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you why you can pretty much get any piercing done with a hoop. Now, this isn't really in regards to like surface piercings and stuff. Obviously, it would have to be a piercing that has like a front and a back where a hoop is even feasible in the first place, right? Now, before I get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I want to do these videos where some are a little bit pared down. Since I did start my tattoo apprenticeship, I have a lot less time. I'm trying to get my boyfriend to edit some of my videos, but obviously I can't just make him edit three videos a week for me. Like, you know, he's not my servant. Maybe once I start making money, I can boss him around more and get more out of that. But anyway, I ramble on and on. I'm trying to talk faster, be more concise uh, with a video like this to hopefully get a little bit more content out there for you. And if you need further explaining, I could definitely do a more structured sit down video. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But regardless, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to comment. It really helps me out and boost my channel. A lot of people have been commenting that they're surprised that my videos slash my channel isn't much bigger. And I'm like, dang, I agree. No, that's a little bit full of myself. But I too started my channel. I too would like good piercing, safe piercing to be out there in the world. Now, my title is a little bit of a, I want to say it's a red herring, but I don't, I don't know what a red herring is for sure to say that. Basically, it's a little clickbaity, but technically it's true. Now, the problem, the problem for why you can't get pierced with a hoop why piercers say you can't, and why you really, at the end of the day, shouldn't get pierced with a hoop for anything other than pretty much a septum piercing or a doth piercing. Those are pretty much generally go to a reputable piercer and they might have different opinions. They're the professionals. But generally, the septum and the doth are going to be the only ones where you can feasibly easily hear, heal your piercing in an ideal fashion with a hoop. Now, what do I mean when I say hoop before I really get started? I mean, like a captive bead ring, a circular barbell, not a seam ring with a gap that could get stuck, not a clicker. I could mean like an earring, like, I don't know. Any, any hoop, anything that is a complete circle even a, a circular barbell, that's a circle, that's a hoop. It's a hoop, it's going in a circle. It's longer than just the length of your ear when it swells, you know, it hoops around, it's a hoop. Anyway, I'm trying not to ramble too much so I don't have to edit too much. So what are the reasons piercers say you shouldn't really get pierced with a hoop? For one is swelling. Now, usually when you want to get a hoop in your piercing, whether it's a conch piercing, a nose piercing, a helix piercing, an eyebrow piercing, a lip piercing, whatever piercing. Sorry if I don't look at the camera. I'm using my phone. It's quicker, whatever. I need to try to look at the camera more. Basically, any of those piercings, swelling, every piercing swells. And what happens is when you want hoops in those what happens is when you want hoops in those piercings, usually for aesthetic purposes, you would prefer a really snug, tight-fitting hoop, right? You you don't want like some big ring in your nose. You don't want a big ring in your helix. You don't want a big ring in your conch because one, it's ugly, right? Like, I mean, it might be someone's aesthetic choice. Like, I'm definitely not hating on the look, but for most people getting piercings, they don't want huge rings in the piercings. They want those really snug fitting, really cute hoops that look really good. And I don't know, that type of thing. The problem with that is there is no room for swelling. If you don't know, when you get pierced with a straight post, they have it be a little bit longer than your ear. That way when you swell, it is always gonna be long enough to accommodate the swelling. The thing with hoops is, they go in a circle, right? So as the circle gets smaller, the, there's less and less room for swelling. Now, the diameter of a circle, this is inappropriate looking. 
the diameter of a circle is only so long. So a one fourth of an inch post is this long and a one fourth of an inch hoop is this long in diameter. Now the problem is the post might have room. One fourth of an inch is pretty small. That's like a heeled size regardless. But the problem is the diameter of the hoop is one fourth and the curve is tight. It's getting tighter and tighter. A straight post will be straight that whole way through your ear, if that makes sense, straight. That's a long amount of straightness in your ear. But if it's a hoop that long, that is a very dramatic and tight curve that if your ear can only fit, like if your ear is only a one fourth of an inch thick and you're already trying to put a one fourth of an inch hoop in your ear, there is a lot of pressure happening. It doesn't fit and then it'll swell up and then your ear will grow over the sides or your nose or your lip and it'll cause problems. And then what happens is the hoop will be too tight and then your ear will swell up and then the ring won't change size as your ear changes size or your lip or your nose, you know what I mean. And that will cause migration and that will cause issues with your piercing in terms of keeping it at all. Because once migration or like any sort of thing happens to your piercing that affects the angle and basically the aesthetic of the piercing, you're not going to want to keep it in because say it's a lip piercing, it could hit your teeth. It could be like way high up in your lip line. Say it's your eyebrow. Now it's like pushing against the skin, way more likely to reg regret, to reject. Nose piercing, same thing. You'll get a huge bump and it'll pull. It'll cause, it'll cause cut marks, you know? Like it'll cause like divots, big dents. It'll cause a really weird shape to your ear piercing. So what piercers recommend when you want to get a piercing with a hoop is that it has to be twice as big as like a standard post would be. So if you're getting pierced in your helix, usually they'll use a 5 16th of an inch post. So the diameter of the ring, if you were to get pierced with a ring, would have to be probably twice as big as 5 16th, which is frick that's almost half an inch just for a helix piercing and guess what technically you could get pierced with that and then there would be enough room for the swelling the problem that arises with that is besides aesthetic purposes comes to what happens when you're pierced with a hoop what happens when you wear hoop in your ears or your nose or whatever it gets hit and knocked around it'll spin into the piercing It'll, I don't know, wiggle about a lot more than a standard straight post will. It might move back and forth a post, but a ring will flip up and down, go in and out. It's just not, it's just not a good situation. And that problem is only exacerbated by the really large diameter jewelry you would need to sustain that fresh piercing in terms of swelling. And you know what happens if you have a piece of jewelry that's that large in your ear, you're not gonna be able to help but to hit it a lot. It'll get hit with your hair, it'll get snagged and caught on things a lot more than usual. And you'll probably have enough room for swelling, but all of these extra snags and bumps will prolong the healing process and cause a lot of extra irritation that you could have just avoided if you got pierced with a straight post. Uh, I'm not sure if I have much else to say about that. I don't know if this video is a success or not. Uh, let me know if I said anything that helped you. Let me know if I wasn't really like concise enough. Let me know. Let me know. Comment down below if you had any problems with this. <coughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me. Basically, I just wanted to like sit down, spew some information at you and see if it's stuck. Um, those are my basic things of, yes, you can get pierced with a hoop, but 
it'll be twice as big as you would want it to be to be actually attractive most likely in your opinion and then that in itself will cause you even more problems when it comes to healing and getting a straight post is very simple only gotta wait like maybe four five six months and then if you did a good job healing then you could probably get a ring in there no problem and you don't have to spend money on a really big honking piece of hoop. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. I'm sorry if it wasn't that great. I'm just using my phone. I don't have a separate audio or anything. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like pretty tired. I'm at my apprenticeship. My tattoo apprenticeship pretty much every day. Only five days a week. But oh, it feels like, feels like forever. I'm basically working like nine and a half hours every day, but I just tattooed a melon today for the first time. Hopefully I can get my hands off some fake skin because I think that'll be a better way to practice. But either way, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Chromatic Sauce. That is my art Instagram, my tattoo Instagram. If you ever want to get tattooed by me in the future, I am still learning. I'm very new at the tattooing. But I hope to get better and all that jazz. But so go check me out. Give me a follow, share, all that stuff. Follow me on my regular Instagram at Candence L. And you can send me pictures of your ears to curate. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it all basically. Uh, and I definitely do still plan on making more edited content. I just don't have as much time. And I'm like, maybe if this is good enough for all y'alls. That would be a win-win for all of us because then I can make more videos this way. Also have my better quality videos maybe. And just keep the videos coming. Keep the videos coming. There's just so many ideas in my head and I don't have time for any of them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you. See you in the next one. Bye. If you're wondering, I probably picked my nails a couple times if I truly didn't edit this Yo, I ran out of top coat for my nails and the one I have is like so dry. So it looks like I've been hot gluing things to my fingers all day and I just have little strings of nail polish. So that's a fun time. <laughs>